Daya Regmi, who is the South Asia head of the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. And he joins me from Kathmandu. Welcome to the News Hour. We've just been hearing about how desperate the situation is in India. Uh, you, as the Red Cross and Red Crescent, you deal with emergencies and natural disasters all the time. Um, how are you helping the situation in India right now? Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here uh, in this news hours. Yes, the situation is really, really critical. I have just uh, told by one friend of mine who, who was in uh, Delhi, one of the big Delhi hospitals visited for some other purpose, not the COVID related. But when he reached there, the whole floor of the big hospitals was full of people, not only the bed, even the reception area, all this lobby, Everybody, people are lying there to get uh, support, uh, the doctor's attention to get treated. The situation is really critical. Red, well, we, as a Red Cross Red Christian Society, with the largest network in the world, social network, and then we are really putting our efforts to, as an auxiliary to the government, to support the uh, uh, awareness campaign to the people, because the people slowly got tired of these uh, restrictions on mobility, wearing um, masks and then hand um, uh, washing and all that. That is what the second pig, this the new variant, really affecting India so fast. It is uh, double, triple than, than the first wave in India. Okay. So we are promoting, we are advocating for the um, uh, campaigning, the um, okay. awareness message. The awareness is, is, is great, but what about the oxygen? Um, sorry to interrupt you. What about the oxygen, uh, you know, the, the drugs that are so desperately needed? Because you as the Red Cross and Red Crescent, you, you're used to getting so much equipment in an emergency situation, and this is so desperate. Yes, we do provide the ambulance uh, services through our national uh, Indian Red Cross. And it is uh, full, um, filled with the uh, oxygen, all this uh, for the critical patients. That is also has, uh, the, there are limitations, but we are supporting government. Government of India is really intensify to produce more uh, oxygen, set up uh, the new plant in different uh, cities. So probably, hopefully, within a week time, the oxygen supply will come, uh, come under control. That's the one reason the, even the Prime Minister of India, holding a meeting with all the state um, chief ministers, how to um, um, control this uh, scarcity of the um, uh, oxygen, how we produce the oxygen. And Red Cross is supporting them. The oxygen we have, we will definitely provide to the hospitals. And then those critical patients who are seeking for the ambulance service with the oxygen cylinders available. That is how we are providing support. And so what are your priorities right now, today and for the next week? Our priority is to keep the people uh, informing, the calming down, and then helping government efforts to uh, to get the more and more health uh, support in in the remote area as well as in the urban area, and then provide um, um, awareness, uh, making awareness, um, mobilizing our volunteers, keep the social distancing, uh, and then as far as possible to provide the um, oxygen to the people in need. Thank you so much for speaking to us. That was Udaya Regmi, uh, South Asia head of the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. We appreciate your time. Good luck to your teams.